hello everyone in this video we are going to create really nice audio visualizations with the help of the extra notes and geometry notes the process for this is really simple and general so you can apply the audio data to any object to create really nice audio visualization in the end of this video i also break down my project files so let's get start uh, there are three steps we have to follow for this audio visualization. The first step we have to get the audio data inside the blender. In the second step we need to apply that data to the object for the visualization. And in the third step we are going to trace that object. Ok. So let's bring the audio data inside the blender. For this we are going to use the empty object. And we are going to bake the data to this empty object. So let's add the keyframe to the z axis. Uh, you can use any of this transform uh, properties of this object then change this to graph editor and then select this z location go to channel and then sound to sample and then navigate the sound file you want to bake okay so see we have this audio data and if i run the animation see this z location is changing with uh, the sound okay split this change this to timeline and th change this uh, editor to the video sequencer and also add that file here so that we can hear the sound as well as see the this audio waveform okay enable this and also lower this sound so now we have this uh, waveform that we can see So this is the sound uh, we're going to visualize okay so now we have this audio data so now let's apply this data to the object i'm going to also rename this object as audio uh, data uh, then we're going to add a plane uh, let me also hide this empty object and here you can add any object that you want for the visualization okay so let's uh, delete this are we going to use the cone for this uh, later we will use uh, the different object uh, for this so i think we need to decrease this height of this cone and also enable this cavity and shadow so that we can easily uh, see these different objects so now we have this cone then we need to convert that into instance so that will be easy for us to play with the transform settings like location, rotation and scale. Okay. So next let's bring that audio data. Okay. And then add the separate XYZ node. And let's see. See we have this audio data. Now let's apply that to this object. Uh, let me make this full screen. We're going to first add the store named attribute node plug that into this so this may be later we will use of in the material okay next we're going to add the transform geometry node and here we're going to apply in this data so let's add the multiply node to control the overall magnitude of this data and then i'm going to add another math node and change this to add operation so this is our basic or mean value for the scale so with this data i'm going to change the scale of this object however you can also change its location as well as the rotation okay so this will control the mean scale and this is the scale based on the audio data okay let's use one here see so now the scale of this object is changing with the sound so let's uh, add a frame for this so this is the audio uh, data next we have to add the animation uh, to this object okay so let's add another uh, transform geometry node and in this case i'm going to move this object along the z axis uh, with time so let's add the x y z combine vector node and then add the ks time file of node so here let's change this to maybe around 20 so with time this will move in the z direction so let's make a frame for this so this is the animation okay 
next uh, we going to add the trace node okay so this is the current uh, setup so now let's add the es geometry tracer node plug that here and you are done see and here you can increase or decrease the length of this trace length let's type the full length and with this step you can basically skip the step like every third step it going to trace and this node also provide a really important attributes let me add the named attribute node here you have this trace frame then you have trace random and trace index so you can use these attributes to add the post processing variation to this these instances okay and these are also available in the material if you go to the extra node trace and geometry tracer you know for, for the material you have all these attributes here okay so let me show you how you can use that here so this is the frame okay so basically the frame on which it created this instance copy so let's add the map range node and here you can add the frame that time frame and in the max input you can add that something like this so basically this is the duration so let's type around maybe 50 frames so in 50 frame this value change from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 so you have something like that change this to instance okay see changing from zero, uh, 1 to 0 so now you have this value from 1 to 0 and with this you can add the secondary motion uh, to this instances so let's add the ks instance transform node like that here make this 0 and let's do that for the scale okay so if we change the scale see it is changing from 1 to 2 let's make this around 0.25 so if we make this one it comes smaller so now this value change from uh, 0 to 1 so this will give something like this effect see they are slowly expanding or you can reverse that okay this node provide a really important attributes that you can use for the post processing however if you can't afford the extra nodes you can use the simulation nodes uh, to do the simple tracing but this will give you the limited control okay plug that into this and this into this so this is the basic uh, tracing of the object so let's go back to this so now we have this tracing of the object based on the sound now let's make this more interesting let's add the path and then let's define a simple shape for this let's bring that curve here let me close this so change this to relative then we need the sample curve node to sample this and here we have to basically animate this vector zero means the point is at the start of the curve and one means point is at the end of the curve so let's duplicate this node and plug that into the factor make this zero to one and use this for the position let me delete these okay so now the object will move along the curve see now let's also align this with the curve add align rotation to vector connect this to the vector and this to the rotation now if we rerun this we have something like this so now with this curve you can define any kind of shape or you want and here if i change this to let's say from 1 to 72 it will move faster okay 
uh, let's also add the material let's add this material here uh, material and in the material you can also use the same concept with the frame now uh, let me show you that so in the material you can also do the same step as you did in the geometry nodes uh, basically add the map range node to the min and then also add the add node to define the duration uh, maybe let's say 50 and for the frame we can add the value node and type here hash frame so now you have this value that is uh, changing from uh, 0 to 1 oh sorry we have to select the material here yeah see or you can reverse that see now with this value you can easily control the material so with this you can easily control the material so let's add the mix color node connect this to the vector so let's change this from white which is uh, one uh, to maybe let's say red and plug that into this so now you have this kind of variation and another thing is that because we have also stored the audio data uh, we can use that here type the audio that is the attribute we have stored uh, sorry we have to also change this to instance because these are the instances change this to instancer and let me show you this see we have this audio data and you can use that to control the color okay so in this way you have a lot of control over the audio data that you can use to create really nice audio visualization now let's use this cassette object that i have downloaded uh, from the uh, blender kit add-on so let's bring that here okay so we have this collection so let's add that here because it is already instance so we don't need to convert that into instances and let's see let me enable this see it is tracing i think we have to slightly increase uh, the scale of this object so that we can see this properly in this way you can trace the sound onto the cassette object so this is how you can add the cassette let me disable this material uh, because this cassette has its own material so this is it about the audio visualization setup and you can see that it is very simple to create that audio visualization now i'll break down this project file in this i use the cards to create this audio visualizations so in this project file the main thing is to get these cards okay the rest of the steps are uh, same uh, for this so first i have downloaded this image from the pixabay so then i have uh, modeled this card this one card uh, based on this grid so we have this grid next i have modeled the card uh, using this grid convert that into the curve and then added the bevel uh, to these corners and fill that and after that i have added it is uvs okay using this uv unwrap node and the important thing is that uh, we have to scale these uvs according to the aspect ratio of that image okay so this image so for that i use the same image and get it is width and height to get the aspect ratio and then scale the uvs accordingly okay so this is before and this is after and after that i have slightly scaled down the uvs uh, because i don't want these uh, black borders and after that i have offset those uvs accordingly to center them around this object and now we have this okay to get all the cards basically i have to offset the uvs along this direction and similarly for all these rows okay like first instance have this uvs and next instance have this uvs and so on so i use this offset basically the uh, width and height of this uv map and offset that accordingly for different cards 
so let me show you this group one so we have first card then we have second card and let me also offset that see second third fourth and all the same way we have all these cards okay so i have stored two uv maps one of for the front material and this for the back material okay so in this way we have the front material for these cards and the back material so in this way i have get all the cards uh, with the help of this repeat zone note okay one of the important thing is that you have to convert this into the instances as we did earlier that will be easy for us to transform the audio data to the instance you can also do that with the geometry uh, but the instance will be uh, more handy okay next is i selected a randomly one of the card uh, let me show you this see it is uh, selecting randomly one of the card then i applied the audio data to this card uh, something like that and after that i have transform on uh, this card along this card okay so we have this card for the final step to trace that card i use the geometry tracer object you can also use the geometry tracer um, node but i use the geometry tracer object so in this case you have to just add that card object into this modifier panel and put that here and here you can play with the settings okay then i have added the secondary motion to these cards uh, to the location and the rotation so this will make them more alive see and after that i have added the bevel uh, this is how you can easily create the audio visualization with the extra nodes and the geometry nodes uh, this is it uh, you can get all these project files and presets from my patreon page and that is also a nice way to support this channel i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy noting. Bye.